Hey guys, it's Pat from Guardian Training Center. Uh, the last time that I had done a video, I had done a video on AKs and I promised more AK content. So here's me fulfilling my promise. One of the big things we're gonna cover today is optic mounts. Uh, there's a whole bunch of optic mounts on the market. I'm gonna be going over some of the ones we have in the shop today and some of the ones that we like to use. So I'm gonna start over on the right side here, my right, and then move my way over, okay? So the very first one I'm gonna bring up is the Otero Arms Bravo mount. Now this one, people I know will probably get a little trepidatious about because you gotta remove your rear sight. But for those people that are worried, you can relax a little bit. Uh, one of the awesome parts of this optic mount is that this optic mount includes a lower third co-witness rear sight that is cut into the mount itself. So when you do remove that rear sight and put install this sight, it's right there. You still have your optic mount and you still have your rear sight, which is a nice compromise for those that are worried about it. Cause I agree. I was worried about not being able to have an iron sight picture, but you still have it. So on this one in particular, this one accepts the T mounts, but if you look up the Otero arms, uh, mounts, they have different ones, some including, the rail section, some including different styles and cuts of optic. Uh, this one is in particular on our rental 545 from Riley Defense. This is the Rack 74. Uh, moving to the center here, we're gonna work on uh, my personal gun. Um, this is a rifle that Lee Armory built me up. I'm really happy with it. I got a nice big, <laughs> I got a nice hefty uh, milled receiver and I installed an SLR Rifleworks handguard on it. And one of the cool things about that SLR rifle handle, um, SLR rifle works handguard is that I get to take this gas tube that holds it on as well, and it mounts optics. So this is similar to if anyone has ever run the Ultimax series of gas tube uh, accessory mounting, or Troy Arms also makes one that replaces your gas tube. This is a very reliable, well-known way to do it. A lot of people have fear of cooking your optic, and honestly, if you're filing enough rounds to cook your optic, I'm proud of you because I don't fire personally enough rounds to cook these optics. And we've abused some of these uh, rail mounted systems on the gas tube pretty hard, and we haven't noticed any problems ourselves. But this is another way to mount, and you still have your iron sights here. As you can see, my, my rear leaf is just fine. I haven't touched it at all, but you still have your iron sights at the end of the day. Moving all the way over, this is the um, more traditional way, I guess you would say, of mounting um, optics. And this one is your standard rail that slides onto the side rails on the side of a receiver. And basically what this one does is, I'm gonna remove this optic from it real quick, so that way we can get a look. So what this one does is, after I took that Tango 4 off on the little room out, is we have this piece of Picatinny rail up top here. This gives you the option to mount any sort of optics. It's not like the old Comblock ones where you got an optic mount and the optic that came with it was the optic that you had. And if you got lucky, maybe you could find another optic that fit inside of it. The really cool part about this is I have a nice long section of Picatinny rail up top and it's got a groove cut in it so I can still utilize my rear sight with my front sight if I don't feel like running an optic or if I need to take it off. And the other cool thing is these are very, very easy to take off. So I'm gonna remount this optic where it was and I'm just gonna show how simple it is to remove one of these. So I'm just lifting up with pressure, sliding back off the gun and now the gun's back to normal as you see that normal side mounting optic rail there for any of your comp block standard side optics. If you wanna get some cool PSOPs or something like that to mount on your AK, by all means. But there's modern options like this where I can just simply slide this bad boy right back on, lock it in place, and now I have that optic still. Like I said, guys, um, we have all these in the shop. There's lots of options. There's lots of things. Come in, talk to us, work with us. Uh, I'd like to thank Lee Armory for these guns, Rally Defense for this gun. Uh, we work really closely with all of our uh, distributors and our dealers. And um, Lee, again, thanks again to the guys at Lee Armory, Josh and Cassie. Uh, I'd like to thank all of you guys for watching our videos. Like, subscribe, 
Go ahead, give us a shout out on whatever social media you're on. You can find us on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, Instagram. You can find us on pretty much all of it. If you go on our website, guardiantrainingcenter.com, you can find a link to all of our social media. Have a good day, guys. Сука, блядь!